We are back again, Siri Exposing is right here. We keep talking about the reality stuff that is happening and things that need to be done. So today there we are just going to give you a little follow up on the root condition and one two fishing boats which they promised to the fishermen. So we are kind of closing up on the Bagatelle and Forcheja area because we have to deal with Pichle, we have to do the Bellevue and we have to go as far as we can go because we have to deal with the issues. But we don't want to go too fast because we have to keep bringing back and showing the things that need to be done. We have to just, we have to do the follow up because we cannot just show and just run and run and run. We are not running too fast. We stay focused and we keep our pressure. We do what they have to do. We show the world what that need to be done and how this country is operating and our, in our village and elsewhere in, in Dominica. But this week, this week coming there, Dominica got a 13 to 14 containers of food and some other Caribbean countries too. And the government is in charge of it to distribute the food. So I hope they did and will do a good job. And it won't be political like some people will say. It's scary to give away You know? Because these containers of food came from overseas. And it's not only Dominica who got, and they will be distributing these packages this week coming, in maybe into next week. So I'm just letting the world know that this is not coming directly from the government. The government is just in charge to package it and distribute it, but it's coming from out, out there. So I want to thank the organization who put this together because of the virus to send for Dominica and we are really 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 in need no matter how big no matter how small the packages will be we will appreciate it and I hope people will wait at their home on the doorstep to get the packages because I don't know how they will distribute it if it's home to home or if it's on a truck or a dumper on a bus I don't know so expect some packages this week coming in maybe into next week so we are going to show you the condition of the road right now yeah so here is it as you can see the condition of the roads since after the passage of tropical storm Erica this is how it is and we were, pro we were promised during the campaign that they're going to start the road from Lubie to Bagatelle. And this is the condition of our road in Dominica. That's how, that's how it looks like. We are not making stories. We are showing you how it is. It's going on two years now, they promised us during the campaign they were going to start the road. And they just pretend like we forget about it. I have did it already and this is the follow-up. We had to get a 40 million grant from England and we are not hearing anything about it. But with my understanding that we never got that money, I cannot understand a government who love the people so much. We had to get a 40, 40 million pounds from the British and up till today, we haven't get it. What is the problem? If you love the people and see the condition of the road without any security, any signboard to notify you that there is danger ahead or on this side. As you can see, this is the wall right there. They had a returning wall. The wall for, the, this wall fall over. And you can see some like uh, pieces of steel had a yellow tape but the yellow tape is just for a short period of time for a couple of days and after with the sun it will vanish this is the condition of our road leading to Bagatelle this is how we have been treated by this government stating that they love the country so much 
since Maria, going on six years now. Six years. If you love your country, you would not want the world to see it in that situation. I wouldn't mind if it's two months, three months, or one year. Going to six years now. Six years now we've been driving in this road condition without any signboard, nothing at all. So what about when them, when them tourists come now? They are talking about tourists. What about when them tourists come? They are going to see it like that. If they have rental on the road, they, they live in a first world country where you have signboards 150 feet away from the ginger. What they are going to say? They are just going to drive because they think there is no ginger. So it's a sad situation and we are calling on the government to make a statement Tell us about the 40 million pounds we had to get from the British. The 40 million pounds, the grant, it was a grant. Why we, didn't, why we never got it? Why we never got the 40 million grant? This is a sad situation. Very sad situation. See that? See that? You care about the people, you love the people? See that? Very sad. So I'm just letting them know that we do not forget the promise going on two years now the promise during the campaign they're going to start the road be careful of big trucks and excavators on the road and there is it so sad <laughs> yeah so here we are again during the campaign they promised them fishermen fishing boats in store and of they promised them fishing boats with engine and up till now going on two years now after the campaign these boats were delivered and up till now they cannot give them fishermen the boat they cannot give them the engine as you can see here, here is where, where they are right now on the side of the road they are lying down this was promised during the campaign all, all this was strategy for the election yeah all these was strategy for the election they actually promised them both during the campaign deliver the boats after the election and they cannot give them the engine because they will promise boats and engine yeah so it's a sad situation which i have done it already i'm just doing a follow-up i'm just doing a follow-up more boats again i'm just doing a follow-up on it so this is the kind of strategy they use during the campaign promise people things all right and after sometimes give them half and don't give them the other half yeah as you can see so we have to show we have to talk about it this is a sad situation you know this is a sad situation you cannot do that to them people you know at least the thanks for the world bank some people had boats there too because their name was under the world bank program so they got their engine but these people there their name wasn't under the world bank program so they, they, they did not get engine, but they were promised both an engine. It's a very sad situation, especially when it's camping time. They just promise people things and make people make invoices. Yeah, make people make invoices. And a lot of people up till now, they haven't got anything. All their invoices are laid in the box in the office. It's a very sad situation. All this is tricks during the campaign. You know, to fool the people. During the campaign, a lot of tricks, a lot of plans. How are we going to play with their brains? How are we going to do, how are we going to tell them things so that they could embrace us? If you had developed the country, create employment, long-term employment, sustainable job, you would not have to give the people votes, try to fool them for votes. This is the reality. So I'm just doing a follow-up on the road and the boats today. Yeah, it's a sad situation. You can't do that to people. All these things are things you are planting to fall back in your foot. So this is why the government, uh, everything are coming out right now because they are just harvesting. They just, just start to harvest what they plant over the years. That is what is happening right now. They are harvesting what they plant over the years. You harvest what you plant. It's a sad situation.